It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. We have a content drop here in MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty. As always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already for some more MLB The Show videos. Comment down below your thoughts on the new headliner. Is he somebody you might want to get? Your thoughts on spotlight moments, everything like that. And especially in the comment section, I want to see your thoughts for Friday. The last little sentence we see there on the calendar, Legend Lightning Player Reveal. Who is that going to be? Any predictions, thoughts, hopes down in the comment section? If you didn't know, the Lightning player typically has been the best player or the player that gets the best card for the player of the month program. And it seems like for the first time ever, I don't think they've ever done this before, it seems like we're going to get a legend player of the month lightning card coming back into the game so they're going to give a legend a player of the month card i would assume it's going to be an april player of the month so maybe if there's any legends that are currently in the game and you know that one of them had just an insane april maybe let us know down in that comment section but today's video we're focused on the tuesday content drop spotlight moments i have no clue what those are i'm going to try to find those after we look at the headliner the central conquest map for xp and then headliner set four so let's go ahead for the content drop and set with uh, start with the new headliner as we can see here. Big dog still in the shop. But we have the new set four headliner right behind the camera. I'm blocking him a little bit. 91 overall, 20, uh, 2008 all-star Mariano Rivera. That's a pretty sick looking card. I like that tops design. I like the real cards better than personally I think the award series milestone. Like those look cool. But I just like seeing real cards, man, like actual baseball cards. I really like seeing this is the new headliner and the new jersey is going to be this Milwaukee Brewers one that you see right here. Their alternate jersey number two. Let's take a look at most stats. Cutter, four seam, sinker, slider. If we want to take a quick look in the top right, we can see the velocity, the control, and the break on each pitch. It's looking pretty good. Everything's looking really honestly solid for this card. I don't know about y'all, but... I've been struggling to hit the gold version of him that's currently in the game. So I have a feeling it's going to be no different here. Cutter, four seam, sinker, slider, really good pitch selection. 106 hits per nine is one of the highest in the game currently. So that's going to be really good. That's what's making your opponents or your PCI. It depends on if you're pitching or facing him. If you're facing him, the higher the hits per nine, the smaller your PCI is going to be. 91 velocity. On average, 99 break and 91 control. We already saw in the type right for each individual pitch. And then his quirks right here. Performs better when there's runners on base. Excels at limiting base hits and walks. Throws an extremely effective sinking fastball. And if it actually does something, which I assume it does, my favorite quirk excels at limiting home runs. I feel like any time a pitcher has that, I feel like there's at least a decent chance. And then I'm hopefully going to be liking the card. But that's the set four headliner. I can't wait to see what you think in the comment section. Now what we're trying to find is the spotlight moments. I have no clue what those are. I'm going to see if there's anything on the calendar that says them. I don't see anything. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just one more quick run through. And yeah, so I don't think I saw anything on the calendar. So let's just go to single player real quick. Let's see if maybe we could see it that way. I don't see moments through here. I, I really wish they had a moments tab if I'm going to be real on the single player. But let's go to programs. Maybe other so nothing in here maybe it maybe it just means there's moments here let's see if there's something called spot okay so there are spotlight moments and it says play as legends and superstars to relive or rewrite the biggest moments from baseball history okay and these are going to be 1000 xp a piece it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thousand xp for 10 different moments all together hit a homer as griffey hit a homer as frank thomas all of them on veteran difficulty by the way but hit a homer as griffey frank thomas one extra base hit as clemente six total bases as chase utley strike out four batters don't give a broom with right with uh with mike musina i haven't used him how is he has anyone used mike musina yet this year let me know in the comment section how is he dontrell willis strike out three batters don't give up a hit don't give up a walk don't hit a batter so it looks like you need a perfect inning with the D-Train. Pedro Martinez striking out six batters. Don't give up a run. Two hits, one extra base hit with Grady Sizemore. Get on base three times with Michael Young. And then strike out three batters. Have a perfect inning with Kenley Jansen. So that's those spotlight moments. I was kind of hoping it, it would be some like special program or something. But still pretty cool, I guess. You know, you were only get, getting 500 XP 
for the moments that were already in the program. So now that it's a thousand for these, I feel like that's just some nice XP. I've already maxed it out. I, I really wish there was something you could do with surplus XP, whether it was like every 50,000 you get five packs or one ball in as a habit pack or something. I wish there was something to do with surplus XP. So I, I would feel like I could do these without just completely wasting my time. And then what's also new is the conquest map. We have, I think the central one came out today, right? I'm almost positive the west one was already in. And both of them, 30,000. And let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive that this is the new map. I feel like it probably sells on the calendar. But if we want to see the goals, there's a show pack. There is prospect pack, prospect pack. Ball is a habit pack on here. Plus, there's going to be some hidden rewards. Plus, you get that XP towards the face of the franchise program. And then let me go to the calendar, see if there's anything else that we're maybe missing. So... Spotlight moments, central conquest map for XP, and then headliner set for us. So if I'm not mistaken, that's everything that is uh, coming out today. That's all the new content. I don't think they've released any new cars in the chase pack. I think it's it's Albert and somebody else. I forgot who the other guy in it was, but it doesn't look like there's any new cards in, uh, in the chase pack. I haven't been able to find any. I know they added one at one point. That's why I've been kind of trying to check as time's been going on, but... It doesn't seem like anybody else really got added, which is not a huge deal by any means. It's just something I try to check sometimes because at least last time when they added a player wasn't on the calendar. But the rest of this video, just a quick rundown. Coming later this week, Friday, we talked about it a little bit at the beginning. But Jackie Robinson Day and Tops Now. So the first bullet point, new player program. I would be very, very surprised if that new player program was not a Jackie Robinson day, a Jackie Robinson program. I would assume it's probably not going to be the 99 overall Jackie Robinson just yet. If I had to guess, it's going to be 90, 91, 92, right in line with the other content we currently have. With that being said, if we take a look at the player programs that are already in the game, uh, we can see, I, I guess this isn't a player program. This is a Jersey program. So... I was going to say Anthony Rendon was 85, but that's not a player program. This is going to be our first player program of the year. It looks like I'm fully expecting them to be 91, 90, 92, right around there. I would be very surprised if he was below a 90 overall. And then the big thing, Tops Now is coming back. They've confirmed it. People were wondering because there's no moments tab. Hey, is Tops Now going to be a thing? And Tops Now players are arriving on Friday, as well as arriving on Friday is going to be a legend lightning player reveal and i'm really hoping that that lightning card is coming out on friday i have a feeling it should be but with that being said the wording of the calendar just has me a little bit scared because it says reveal it doesn't say obtain or anything like that all it's saying is reveal so it has me a little bit scared that on friday on the 15th we're gonna have something that says hey this is legend I don't know, man. David Ortiz, who had a great April one time, and he's going to be getting a card whenever the April monthly awards program drops. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit of vibes just from the word reveal right there. But I really hope that we are able to obtain that lightning player if he's in the game on Friday. But either way, I can't wait to see who it is. I'm excited. I feel like the content's been really good so far. I'm having a lot of fun with the game so far. I hope you're having a lot of fun with the videos and the game as well. Like, comment, subscribe, social medias, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace out.